Good afternoon. Uh, we have James Oakey here, Head of Horticulture, and James is going to tell us a little bit uh, about uh, an asparagus. Good afternoon, James. Good afternoon and welcome. Welcome to this lovely wet day. Here I have in front of me asparagus vittorio. Now this is known as edible ivory. It's grown all over Europe and it is a white asparagus. And the beauty of it is it's a really strong, vigorous male hybrid plant that will shoot out and give you some cracking spears in the years two and three. The plant arrives as, a, as, a, as an asparagus crown uh, as a, in its dormant state. And when you receive it, get it planted as quickly as you can. Plant it in the ground, dig a hole out, build in some fertilizer into the soil and dig it so the crown is just below the surface of the soil and spread out these roots when you put it in the hole before you backfill the soil. In year one, just keep it well watered. You will get some, some uh, spears come through, but please don't harvest them in the first year. It really wants to wait until year two. And in year two and three onwards, the spears come through, and just as they're starting to peek through the surface of the soil, mound them up. Now you can do this traditionally with any asparagus, but this one, if you mound it up, it creates longer spears that are white and the mounding of the soil over the spears creates the blanches the stems and makes the stems white. Um, you can do it with any asparagus but this is by far the best, to do, best variety to do it with and it's known all over Europe. Even in Germany they have asparagus parties and they have asparagus cycle routes where they go round the fields looking for blanched white asparagus. Sounds delicious James, can't wait to give it a go. And at the moment, I mean they look really healthy roots but I can't see any plant at all. Yeah, you can't see any plant at all. The plant is all in this main crown. You can just about see a little bit of a clumpy stem there, but it's a typical dormant plant where it's really in here, where it's firm and hard, and the roots aren't too rubbery. They're, sort of, they're flexible, but they're not too rubbery. And once you plant this, that's the, that's the, um, the plant, and that's gonna give you all the energy to grow.